Yo, good morning, everybody. Charlie checking in. Happy Monday right there to every single one of you guys. <laughs> Hopefully you had a great weekend. My morning kind of started off a little rough, man. Damn. I found out a couple of friends of mine that weren't uh, being too uh, um, genuine, you know, so I had to let them go, man. You know, it's rubbish, but unfortunately, it is what it is, you know, so. But no drama. It's all good. Look, it's even starting to snow. We see some snow in a little bit. <laughs> Did y'all say it ever snowed before Thanksgiving here? Or they say, yeah, okay, I remember saying something. Hey, no, man, I, I was thinking, I was thinking Thanksgiving ain't even started yet. <laughs> Something's wrong with me today, guys. I tell you, man. But you already know that. So, uh, anyways, not really too much going on today. Like I say, it just started snowing. It's cold out there. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, we've got our Christmas stuff up. Or they got their Christmas stuff up. I'm just so happy to just look at. It. I love these janky Christmas lights. Some people like the the white ones, straight white all the way around. I like these colored ones. I call them janky. I used to keep them in my house back when I had my own place in Columbia for like four years, man. I used to, I, I, I put up the Christmas lights and I never took them down. So <laughs> anyways, guys, um, see what we can get into today. It's not going to be as fun as this weekend, man. Not every weekend is going to be, or not every day is going to be, you know, but, um, so I, like I say, man, I tried my best to entertain you guys and, uh, 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 be here daily for you all. So, uh, let's see what we can get into. All right, so it kind of stopped snowing. Got a little bit here. You can kind of see, looks like somebody with bad dandruff kind of shook their heads. <laughs> oh, gosh, you got to look, look. Here's going to laugh. Look, look what I got. <laughs> Take the fingernail. Uh, stick it in between my teeth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys. This is a habit that I've, that I've held for a long time. I don't know if many of y'all remember my story where I accidentally spit a fingernail on a lady at work. <laughs> I'll tell you about that, but... Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, man, I'm just so happy for today, guys. I don't know what I'm getting into. Um, I think Dave wants to go see a couple of uh, relatives. He just he just realized we're buried out, you know, not far from here. So I think we might go see that, maybe a little riding around the town. Um... And yeah, just got done with my shower. Now it's time for a little flower, maybe a little GTA and uh, reading. I'm going to do, do some, um, um, I mean, you know, you, the, the constructive reading. What do they call that? <laughs> oh, my God. It's not constructive reading. It's a, not positive affirmations. Constructive, re constructive reading is what we're going to call it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and quit blabbering right now, and I'll get back with you in a second. All right, something else I wanted to touch base with you guys on real quick, man. Um, um, man, <laughs> you know this learning curve for me here lately has been, um, it's been, it's been extreme. It's been awesome and it's been crucial too. Um, you know, now that you know, it's it's been about four months, going on five months now that things have kind of happened and this stuff, you know, and and uh, here really recently things have kind of started to die down, you know, and I'm just so happy and thankful for it. I can just kind of live my life and stuff. And um, I noticed that, you know, a lot of old friends and stuff are coming back, you know, and, and I'm happy for it. But uh, um, I'm getting burned in the same time at the same time, you know. Um, like I said, a lot of people have kind of, uh, you know, they, 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 they switched sides and stuff. And I understand, you know, I kind of messed up and people's heads were twisted and turned. Um, but, you know, the fact of the matter is, uh, uh, honestly, um, some of these friends just aren't the same anymore. You know, we've all, we've all changed through this, uh, through this experience and, um, some for the good, some for the bad, you know, um, I don't know. It's just like, you know, damn, after all this went down there was some stuff that, that has just caused like a, just a deep rooted, just hatred inside of people for me, you know? And I mean, I can't blame them. people, you know, you're going to like what you like and you're going to hate what you hate, you know? But, um. I mean, you got to, I mean, you ain't got to do nothing. I got to figure it out. Like, like I'm sitting here and I'm in, I'm in this damn uh, limbo right now, you know, as to whether, uh, you know, I can trust people and who to trust. And I'm always trying to reach out and trust people because without people, you know, I wouldn't be here where I am today, you know, um, 
so I've got to figure out this balance, man, that, um, it's really kind of got me, got me, you know, and it looks, I got a little turmoil going. I got to find this balance, man, where, um, where I still have my trust for people, you know, um, but to, uh, to be cautious about it, you know what I mean? To, uh, to, to trust my instincts and trust my gut, you know, because, um, it is, it's wild. There's, there's people out there that are still, you know, that are, that, that, that are, that are trying to connive me and stuff and not just me, but also friends, you know, and, um, uh, <laughs> I guess I've got to, uh, I've got to be real about the situation. You know, I was upset a couple of days ago about losing, you know, certain people and I, and I'm still upset about it, but, uh, I've just got to, I've got to face the facts and accept things for what they are, you know, uh, um, the world isn't Candyland, you know? I really don't know what else to say. Uh, you know, I'm thankful for all of you that that, that are honest and, and genuine in your in your um, support and your feelings. All right, everybody. Um, <laughs> Let's do some reading here. Now, all right. Ooh, it's a little cold. <laughs> all right, where's the camera at? Where am I looking at? All right, there. All right. Anyway, so this reading, guys, uh, I actually read this reading a couple of days ago um but i didn't i didn't get a chance to share it with you um but it, re it really kind of touched me now so i wanted to share it with you but i had a lot going on this weekend you know um i uh, hope you guys enjoyed that vlog by the way you know portland was beautiful uh got some more stuff planned this weekend man my homie jay and another homie sean hopefully we got another big weekend planned for you guys but anyway let me go ahead and share this with you guys right here striking thoughts by this is on adaptation, and he says that adaptation is wisdom. It says, wisdom does not consist in trying to wrest the good from the evil, but in learning to ride them as a cork adapts itself to the crest and trowels of the waves. <laughs> uh, and, you know, like I was saying, I mean, I've been riding the waves for a while now, and that's the thing, you know, um, uh, a lot of you have, uh, have seen this in me, you know, um, this struggle that I've gone through the past couple of months, and even longer, you know, and how I haven't let it break my reserve, you know, how I keep the smile on my face, and I just stay positive every day, you know what I mean, there's a lot of you that are going through the same thing, and you see that in me, and, uh, and, 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 and it really helps me, man, you know, it really helps me ride these waves, man, <laughs> and, uh, like I said, you roll with the punches, you know what I'm saying, a stiff man, a stiff man will take that punch, and it'll break his damn jaw, <laughs> you know, like they say, that the, the drunk man is always the one that survives the car crash, because he's, he's loose, <laughs> yeah, yeah, sad, but true, all right, so anyways, uh, uh, adaptation and the mind, the adaptive mind, that of not being tense, but ready, not thinking, but not uh, not thinking, but not dreaming, not being rigidly set, but flexible, aware and alert, ready for whatever may come. <laughs> and uh, that's actually kind of been a, a downfall of mine. Like I was saying earlier about friends and stuff and trust and all this. You've got to know who to trust. Uh, but, you, you know, you can't. Yeah, you got to know and you got to be smart about it, man. And you got and you got you got to use your, you know, use your mind and you always stay vigilant because, uh. And like like I say, um, the, the drop drop your guard once, and I mean even the you know that person that you thought you you know you care you know that you cared about and you could trust, boom you know just like that. So um, yeah, be flexible to ch be flexible to change with change, be flexible so you can change with change. Empty yourself, open up. After all, the usefulness of a cup is in its emptiness. <laughs> Remember that, guys, man. I've got to, I'm, I'm empty up here. <laughs> I'm freaking empty. And also be flexible, man. That's like me and my girl, Trisha. We always talk about, you know what I'm saying? Be a palm tree. I am a palm tree, man. I learned that in rehab, you know, uh... Uh, to be flexible, gotta be flexible. You're, you know, when you're rigid, man, you get to a breaking point and you're gonna snap, you know? So, don't be rigid. Change is useless. To change with the changeless state. To change with change is the changeless state. <laughs> to change with change is the changeless state. So, I mean, yeah, I guess to, to, ch to, to change while you're changing, you know, it's just it's that constant metamorphosis that life is made of. I'm almost done, guys. Stillness and movement. The stillness and stillness is not the real stillness. See, a lot of this stuff is... <laughs> I think I'm done with it. Uh...
Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there, man. You know, to, uh, um, be flexible. Uh, 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 you know, uh, be adaptive. Uh, don't be tense. Don't be rigid. And uh, always stay prepared and ready. Oh, get that notion. Here we are taking a ride. Going into town. Riding into town, listening to Christmas music. Is that Beach Boys Christmas? It is Beach Boys Christmas. St. Phillips, St. Joseph's, St. Joseph's, Joseph's uh, Cemetery. My oh, man Brian's back in the house. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> so we're gonna do some EVP sessions and stuff. I'm rolling with them. Um, hopefully we uh, we catch something, man. Check all this out. This is gonna be on ISO TV 207. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, honestly, um. David's got some family that he just realized we're buried at it, right? Not yet. The one in San Oh, okay, wrong one. So we're just coming out here just to uh just to see how see how these people are living. Right. So, they're just chilling out right now. Yeah, they're chilling. I know I say I say chilling, man. I mean that in all extensive purposes. It's cold out here. <laughs> and I've got my dang bubble jacket off because I cannot move. So hopefully this thing is gonna be good enough for me. Look, this is, this is a big uh, cemetery, though. Look at that right there, guys. This guy's got a damn graveyard in his front yard. You know he's got some activity in that house. Look, this is they just got a straight up uh, community around. Uh, look at that, just just a straight up community around in our uh, nursing home. This is what happens to nursing homes afterwards. Oh, look, that's so cool. That's what I want, like a bench or something. Look at these, see that's cool, like when I, yeah, when I pass it, you can come and just sit, sit on and, and talk. I thought about either that or a tree, have like a tree plant or a tree that grows and then you can put a swing on it or something, you know, and the swing will be in memory of me, you can sit on the swing and think of me. Okay, so here we are, it's like some fresh, it's like somebody's, somebody's flower. Wow, look at that. Rest in peace, Miss Packard. Wow, look at that. That's just pretty right there. Oh, man, it is so cold out here. <laughs> I should have I should have worn my uh, my Wolfman hat. Got some gloves, too, but I don't know where they're at. See, we're just walking through here, showing our respects. Picking up objects and stuff that kind of fell, you know, fell down, putting them back where they belong and stuff. Just that guy's first thing was come. Yeah, there's another one right there. Yeah. Charlie's gonna fix this. It looks like it's broke. Uh, it broke. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, bro. I would do what I could. <laughs> it's so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? It's cold as hell out here, bro. Excuse my language, Lord. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, how adorable. They're walking their donkey. Everybody's got a baby. I had a friend, man. She used to walk her cats around in the damn stroller. Her name was Sarah. It was so cool. Sarah, if you're out there watching, man, what's up? Oh, like a little rentable community center type deal. All right, here we go, guys. Private property. We're trespassing over here. <laughs> Want to show? Oh yeah, not really, guys. Okay, I'm just playing with you guys. Want to show you these falls? Man, look how beautiful this is, dude. I'm in love with Maine. Maine. I'm staying in Maine. Okay. Oh god, I'm gonna fall. Don't. I'm going. I'm doing it. Next thing you know, I get swept into the damn falls. Okay. What we have here is, I don't know, some kind of turning wheel, guys. Irrigation pipe. So cool. I need to figure out a way to get down here so I can show you guys the falls, which are just on the other side of this wall. As a matter of fact, I'd probably come down here. One good thing about Maine 
you can walk around in the woods and crap. Well, in the winter anyway, and not really worry about snakes and shit. Oh my god, that's creepy looking. Okay. Check this out. Isn't that just pretty, guys? So where the red? Across here. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Look how pretty that is, guys. Isn't that amazing? This is quite the state here. I love Maine. And it all falls down, baby. And it all falls down. And it all... I love it. Imagine while I was just sitting here, all of a sudden... Boom! The damn dam breaks. Oh, I'm actually scared her now. Something's under this water. So beautiful. Take me a picture. Okay, selfie time over. Isn't this pretty though? Look, it goes underneath this damn building. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. All the way down there. Now, let me show you this building here. Now, that looks petrified. Look, some kind of petrified uh, uh, waffling. All right, let's get out of here. Speaking of waffling. Ah! <laughs> coming, guys, coming. These guys are ready to roll. They're like, hey, up, Charlie. Jay's like, come on, Charlie, we gotta go. I'm coming. I'm gonna show you guys real quick though. Hey, hey, hey. Look, it goes under the house here. <laughs> Look at that, guys. I guarantee there's a troll under this bridge. The fox in hell. All right, guys, let's see here. Got some stuff from the post office. Let me show you guys. First up, from my friend, Trisha. Here we go, here it is. Hope you have a great birthday. I'm just gonna keep that to myself, yeah. Good birthday present for me from Miss Trisha, which by the way, my birthday is Saturday. 35 years old, man. It's a weird number. 35 is weird. I'm gonna be 35, I'm gonna be 35 Saturday. Oh, fuck. You see, see my hair, my hair is all gray and stuff. So anyway, so she gave me this. I had to open it up, Trish. I'm sorry. As soon as I got to the, as soon as I brought, I uh, got it out. I was like, ooh, what is this? I, I had to open it up. So boom, look at this, guys. Sublime. Stories, tales, lies, and exaggerations. Uh, tells the story of see why it was more than just music and experience the firsthand death depth and emotion within the legacy uh skating smoking house shows uh it's awesome there's a bunch of uh, uh all like a lot what is this lou dog went to the moon okay i thought that maybe these were like music videos but they're not these are like skits and stories and stuff and this is so amazing trisha you really hit you really hit my speed right on the head can't wait to watch this later and review this Stories, Tales, Lies, and Exaggerations by Sublime. Mwah. Thank you, Trisha. And thank you for moderating for me, too. You're awesome. All right, let's see here. Next we have... Yeah, this is it. I think, I think Dave, you got one, too, from this guy, right? From the UK? It's, yeah, it's from some woman. Oh, okay. <laughs> have a Christmas. It's got... Oh, look at the pigs. <laughs> That's us three right here. 
<laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, pigs in a blanket. I want pigs in blankets. Yeah, when's the last time you had any pigs in blankets, man? Pigs in a blanket. <laughs> to Charlie, sending hogs and kisses this Christmas. <laughs> That's back to you. We're finally, we're so happy you finally found somewhere good to stay and people you can trust. David, Brian, and, Fra uh, and family are good for you. You deserve this happiness. We've all, we've allowed you, we've all, we followed you since day one and, and love being part of your daily life. Christmas, man. Den Bay and Aisha, I know Aisha. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Right there to you. And... Dan, you guys are awesome, man. I appreciate you following me. Like I say, I just love being able to come out here and do this every single day. David and his wife are just amazing. You know, they're godsends. Without them, I'd be oh, I'd be homeless right now, probably. Seriously. And Brian, Brian's Brian. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> All right. So thank you so much, Dan and Aisha. I love you guys. All right. And Dan, hit me up on Facebook, man. I see Aisha on there all the time, man. I love entertaining you guys. And last one here. From Julie Thatcher. The name rings a bell, Julie. I gotta look you up. And look, all these stickers. Let me, let me hide her address. And all these stickers. So cool. I gotta, I'll tell you, I'm at the, I'm gonna send each one of y'all a Christmas card. <clears throat> Get it open. Mm. Okay. Oh, what fun. <laughs> Dear, oh, wow. This is a handmade card right here, everyone. This is a handmade card from Miss Julie Thatcher. It says, Dear Charlie, I handmade this card just for you. Hope you like it. Take each day as it comes. Never give up. Things will turn around. Julie T. Mwah. Thank you, Julie. Right there to you. Wishing you a Christmas season filled with joy and laughter. Well, you know me. I've always got the laughter going down. So, <laughs> um, Thank you all so very much for reaching out. And uh, and, and I just want to show you my gratitude. You know, I've got some more and start sending them out here really soon to you guys. So, uh Yes, want to thank every single one of you guys. <laughs> um, also, want to guess a serious, a little serious note. My friend Rebecca Chapman, you know, I want to give a shout out to you and your family. Um, you know, your mom is going through some, you know, some things right now. Uh, unfortunately, it uh, doesn't seem like it's operable, operable. So I just hopefully that you can find some someone to watch your kids and you can get 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 there to see your mother. You know, um, I know how it was when Dad was in the hospital and I was. I was, I, you know, I was trying to get back down there, you know, my friend Martina, you know, if it weren't for her and Haley, then um, I may not have been able to make it down there, you know. But with the help of all of you guys, you know what I mean, that was possible. So uh, I, I really do hope hope the best for you and your family right there. And um, also um, my friend uh, uh, Lori Green, we hadn't talked in a little minute, but her dad had passed away. We're talking to her about it right now, so... Um, you know, Lori, I want to tell you, you know, I'm thinking about you and your family as well. So, um, um, let's just remember that people are in our lives for a reason and, and, um, we got to, you know, just be strong and, and, and just figure out what these reasons are and, and, and make the most out of it. You know, I'm always, I'm always about making the most out of a bad situation, you know, and especially Rebecca, you know, I feel for you, you know, um, cause like I said, dad's mom, grandma, she died from colon cancer same thing that your mom has she died from colon cancer on christmas morning you know we woke up and she was gone you know <clears throat> yeah she was she was hurting for a couple of months there you know so i kind of think that maybe that was her you know god's gift to her you know let's go home you know so um and we're hoping that we're hoping for better things with your mother but uh but uh yeah we've got to always you know just think positively and and um you know, try to turn these negatives in, into positives. So um, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it here with you guys tonight. Um, not too much happening. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, the fall of Charlie Chill. That's what we called it. Thank you, David. <laughs> Every time I ride past that pond, I'm going to think about my fall, the fall of Charlie. Not Charlie Chill. Charlie Travels. Yeah, because Charlie Chill is dead. 
Yeah, Charlie Chill is done died. Yeah, this is Charlie Travels. <laughs> There's a Travel Falls over there. So, uh, anyway, yeah, what else? Um, not too much happened today, you know? So, uh, maybe more tomorrow. I think I might be going to Cabela's maybe Wednesday. Um, Saturday's my birthday. I think I'm going to Kittery Trading Post maybe. Uh, a couple a couple places out in New York. And then, who knows, something planned Sunday. So, I'm trying to keep things uh, up and popping and moving for you guys, you know, so that, you know, keep you guys coming back and entertained. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we'll see what happens and I'll talk to y'all guys tomorrow. Peace. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Charlie checking in. Happy Friday. Fun Friday to all you guys, man. Hopefully y'all have a great day. Got something over here behind me. I'm going to open up under the Christmas tree for you guys here in a little bit. It's going to be kind of hard to do for me, man, but, um, you know, damn. I'm going to do it on camera for all you guys, you know, damn. Dad gave me all of you guys if it went for all you. You know, damn. If it went for Dad, none of you guys would be here. If it went for Dad and Michael. So um, I was going to open it up yesterday, but I figured, you know, I'm going to do it on camera for you guys today. We're going to share this together. And, uh, and yeah, like I said, once I start traveling, I'm going to take him with me. And um, if y'all want to see Dad, I'll let y'all do that. So... Yeah, I'm not going to get into too much today. I'm going to do a couple of clips for you guys, but I'm pretty much going to focus this on on uh, right there behind me. So y'all stay tuned and we'll do this. Go, go, Power Rangers. Do, na, 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 do. Go, go, Power Rangers. Got some cow in the road. <laughs> Meow. Oh, hold on, let me my light Fifteen degrees. All right, guys. Done early, man. Just in time. The snow. You can't see it right yet, but the snow is a falling. Supposed to get a couple inches of ice when tomorrow. Or uh, we're getting snow today. Ice tonight. And yeah, ice tomorrow. So changing all over the rain. Nothing nice, guys. So I wanted to show you, man. Broke my dang bracelet. My friend gave me yesterday, man. I'm so. I feel bad, dude. It was, it was simple design, but you know what I'm saying? I'm a simple kind of guy. I'm a simple kind of man. Anyway, so headed back to the house right now. I'm going to open up Dad's Christmas present to me. Ha! <laughs> well, leaping lizards. Would you look at that? All right, guys, here we are. I'm sending a bunch of cards out. Let's see right here. Please don't lose much. Sending the cards out. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, like I said, it was, it was a bunch of them, man. There's about 30 of them. Oh, cool. Thank you, sir. There's a bunch of them in there. I got some more that I got to send. They may not make it by Christmas time, so definitely going to take care of you guys. I got all the, 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 the addresses and stuff, so if you don't get a card yet, don't worry. I'm going to take care of you. I promise. You know, just everything going with Dad and everything, so yeah. All right, guys. Look at this. We're just making it in in time, man. It is really collecting on the road. We got this cool driving going. And we're gripping, but damn, <laughs> people gonna be slipping soon. Oh yeah, people gonna be slipping real soon. So, got some stuff. Got a couple packages here from the from PO. I think I'm gonna save them for Christmas though. I have me a couple things to open up for Christmas. So, <laughs> we'll get to the house, get settled in, and uh, I'm gonna do this reveal for you guys. All right, here we go. I'm gonna step out to the wolf den, a little privacy, and we're gonna open this up, guys. Oh, man, you know, oh, God, I'm about to lose it. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> darn it. Okay, let's go ahead and get this right. Like I said, I didn't, I thought about whether or not to uh, to do this in private by myself, you know. Um, kind of felt like that might be in order, but I realized, you know, that I got to figure out how to set this up. <laughs> All right, here we go. Kind of come in. A little gray, just a touch of gray. If I were a Ziggo. All right, guys, anyway, so here we are in the wolf den. And uh, man, just look how pretty, just look at my, 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 my view right here, guys. Life is beautiful. It can also be tragic, you know? Um, people come into our lives for a reason. And they leave our lives for a reason, too. 
Sometimes we go our whole lives and we never know what that reason is. <sighs> Sometimes we wander. You know, we, we get the reasons and we don't like them. <sighs> Sometimes they're not enough. <sighs> I don't think it'll ever be enough when you lose somebody you love. <sighs> you know, you, you... I try to make positives out of negatives. And there's so many, there's so much things to make positive out of this, man. But the truth is that I just miss my dad, man. And I just wish that he was here. Well, he is here. He's right here in this box. He's never going anywhere again. Uh, you know, there's many, many Christmases that I didn't get to spend with my father. Uh, we hear that song, The Simplest Thing. You know, he made more mistakes than any man. Dad, I'm right up there with you, man. funeral home. I don't know if y'all can see that right. <laughs> Showing you the wrong side. <laughs> I know there's so many of you out there that wanted to meet Dad. He's changed so many people's lives. riding yesterday with, in the car when we first got him. And I thought, I wonder if Dad's ever been to Maine. <laughs> He's here now. Oh. And it was so, it was so messed up, man. Last night I just picked up the box. I didn't want him under the Christmas tree. And I picked up the box and I held it. And for a moment I just, I felt more alone than ever. Like, like, you know, just I was just so caught up on the physical form of him gone, you know. I was lost in it for a moment. Uh. <clears throat> and uh, I went, I just wanted to put the box down, and I went to put it down, and then there was nothing more that I didn't want to do. I just wanted to keep holding it. It was just so conflicting, like. <sighs> but then I talked to him, you know, just like I do every day now. All the time, numerous times a day. <laughs> and I just heard him, you know, just, just damn it, boy. <laughs> now you crying for? <laughs> it's Christmas. I'm here, damn it. I'm here, okay? <laughs> and Dad is here for Christmas with me. And guys, I know there's a lot of y'all, man. He's touched y'all's hearts, y'all's lives. And, uh,. I know that y'all wanted to meet him, man. He was like the best man in the world. Well, uh, man, I promise that I'm going to do my best, okay? And if you guys stick with me, y'all just stay with me, man. And I, sh and I prove that I'm, that I'm doing the right thing. Oh, uh, man, we will be traveling soon, and he's going to go with us everywhere, man. We're going to show him everything. And I'll come out there and I'll meet you guys and I'll let you see him and you can hold that and you can talk to him. You can say whatever you want. Because you all deserve it. Without dad, none of this would have been possible. None of you guys would be here. Ah. 
a lot of you have been the reason that I've been kept, that I've just been keeping keeping on and just and just trying every day with the smile on my face. Like I say, the makeup and the and the face can crack, but the smile, the smile stays on, man. And it's gonna continue to stay on. I may cry right now, and I deserve it. I'll be okay. I'll be back with my smile and my strength to pass on to all of you, just like Dad did. Because that's what he would want. Uh, uh, it hurts, and it always will. But there's a lot of strength and love to be born out of that hurt. If you harness it and you just don't let it kill you and beat you down into the ground. So I'm going to take this time. And I'm going to mourn my way. And I'm going to cry for dad. <sighs> and then I'm going to get back up. And I'm going to take him with me. And we're going to rule this world together. <laughs> me, you. No, is it me, him, and all of you guys. So Wolfpack forever. I'm going to leave it here. I love you guys. All right, everybody, Charlie checking in with my man Brian here, main tattoo artist. We are going to tattoo something Dad told me, live your life. Like I said, we was going to do a tattoo, the, the face on the butt, but it just didn't seem proper, you know. So uh, I figured this would be a, a better tribute for Dad. So you guys are going to get to see me finally get myself stuck. The ass cheeks being saved for Pickle Boy's name. Huh? The ass cheeks being saved for Pickle Boy's name. Yeah, right? Boy on one cheek, on the other. Oh shit, who's in the middle? What? Stuck in the middle with you. I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna we're gonna cut out this part right here and this part right here. Go to this part right here. We're gonna cut that out and just do the rest, so. And it fits really, really well. Yay! It's for you guys, it's for you, Dad. We got some red here. Where we got? Can we see it now? Reds. Some red and the black. We'll put the color in there. Ooh. True black. True blood, true black. Okay. Just like you said. Oh. 
feel so good, baby. This is a good ass tattoo right here. My man right here knows what the hell he's doing. Let that sit for a minute. We're gonna let that sit for a minute, guys, and then I'm gonna show you the overall product here in a minute. Mm. Black, got some red in there, so it really pops. And yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, the red will come out in a few days because your skin is red, and that's the way the pigment in red works. Uh huh. So right on. Well, it's not blood. Thank goodness for that, man. If I'd been if I'd been drinking, you would have been bleeding like a motherfucker. Stuck a stuck pig, man. That's what they say. If you're ever, you know, what I'm saying, damn, people get drunk and and go get tattoos. They won't even let them get them when they're drinking, right? Right. A lot of places won't. So anyway, we're gonna let All this right. heal up. All right. You ready to yeah. see? Ready for the reveal. Oh, baby. There we go, buddy. Look how pretty that is. All for you, pops. All for you, All Dad. For your words of wisdom. Yes, sir. It's going to stay with me forever, Dad. I love you. Remember, live my life. Everybody, let's go out and live your life. If everybody just lived their own damn lives, man, life would be so, so much good. better. So. so good. All right, we're going to put AD in ointment. Uh-huh. This you can keep. All right, I'm gonna get this off. Yeah, I'd like to say hi to. Nah, he's not worth it. Uh, uh, nah, she's not worth it. Uh, no, I'm good. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> you gotta poop. <laughs> you sure as hell does, man. I gotta poop too, man. I'm gonna walk. We'll go poop out here with the dog. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Got a little bit of light here. We are getting geared up, headed out to this cemetery that we are gonna show you part of the ISO crew. <laughs> yeah, this is our first outing. We're just going to go scout things out a little bit. And uh, and yeah, I'll let them tell a little bit more about their story when we get here. And uh, we're going to be doing this tomorrow night. All right, here we are, guys. Right here at the graveyard. Ooh, man. I already feel it. It feels kind of creepy out here. I got a big bluff right here, and then here are headstones. I don't want to walk on anybody's headstones. This is where we're going to be at tomorrow night. Check this out. It's for all my angels out here. I want to say, peace. Oh, these are my guys here, the ISO crew. Did you hear that? Oh, it's a dog. Hey guys, what's up? This is Dave, this is Brian. Oh God, oh my God, it scared me, dude. Okay, I thought this was drawing me to it. I thought this was like a big statue or something, but it's not. Can we get a date on this here? Martin. There's no date though. I can't even really read there. Mm. Yeah. 15? No, 1891. Got 1891. Wow. So this is a really, really old graveyard. We're going to treat it with respect. But, uh, you know, we hope that we really can connect with some people out here because, uh, I kind of feel something, man. I don't know. You know, do you feel it? You know what I'm saying? I, Brian, let's I, see I, I do, like. bro. 1891. All right, so that was our first outing as the ISO crew. You know, just kind of scouting things out a little bit. We're going to do a little Google map search. We're going to check out the name of the, uh, the cemetery, figure out some uh, some history on it. Going to come back tomorrow and do our, our official investigation. Uh, <clears throat> while I was out here, I asked a couple of them, you know, dang, you know, if they wanted to talk to come forward. I asked them, you know, in, in all kindness. And, and as I left, I asked them to stay. You know, I said, we were visitors. We just come to see and we asked that you stay, you know. So treating all this with nothing but the utmost respect. And um, it felt kind of weird out there. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if that's just the hibby jibbies, but it felt kind of weird. You know, my eyes felt like they were kind of playing tricks on me. But, um, but yeah, I'm feeling good about this investigation, and uh, <laughs> we're hoping for the best. All right, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and leave this vlog a little early today, man. Uh, we got a birthday party coming up, you know, so happy birthday to my dude. Um, what else? Um, we're going to do the... The, the ghost hunt tonight, so I'm going to go ahead and do some of that for you guys tonight, and I'll share that on tomorrow's vlog. Um, but yeah, yeah, most of my stuff got done yesterday, you know, the um, tattoo, yeah, it looks great. Ah! 
Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, I think I'm going to be able to live with it for a long time. Sit here and just talk with you guys. And it's good, man. You know, one way you can't even tell what it says in another way, you know, you can't. So I thought about like the anagrams and stuff. You know what's that where, um, or not anagrams, one of those things where, you know, it says something one way and then you turn it upside down and it says something else like uh, good and evil and live and love and all that. So uh, maybe next time. Yo, good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday to the whole world, man. Charlie checking in. Oh, right there to my wolf pack, man. Hopefully y'all had a great day today, man. Not too much going on today, except a lot going on today. <laughs> We're going to the Cryptozoology Museum today, the only one in the world. Hopefully I can I can record everything. Um, my friend, we're going to call him Ghost right now. My friend Ghost is going to take me around Portland today, and we're going to check out just all kinds of stuff, lighthouses of the pier. He's going to show me around, show me a real good time, man, and uh, happy and blessed to have a new friend around here, man. So, um, uh, yeah, 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 zoology, what else? Um, all kinds of stuff. So I can't wait, man. I'm going to take a shower, get ready, play a little GTA until my homie gets here. Ow! All right. Getting ready for my big happy day. <laughs> Let me stop. Guys, <laughs> some of y'all tell me to grow up. I'm not growing up. Eh, okay. So I've got the toothpaste. What was I going to tell you about? Oh, yeah. My new favorite band right now, man. Damn. I don't know what it is, dude. Highly Suspect. If any of you guys are you know, addicted to Highly Suspect, you're not alone, little one. Hey, little one. Uh -huh. yeah, I do, yeah, I know. yeah, just one of them kind of mornings, man. I cannot seem to win one, brother. <laughs> Second place, though, how much money I get? 21, so uh, I've then had two second place finishes and a third. <laughs> and this guy, he will not take it off a third, three laps. Will you? Where's this fucker? He won't take it off a fucking three laps, so I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and watch Mall Rats, man. This is a damn classic of mine. And uh, wait for my homie to hit me up so we can go to this damn cryptozoology museum. Cryptozoology, where else? We're going to check out the port. Um, couple, I think there's was, was a fort down there in Portland that we're going to check out. A bunch of crazy shit that we're going to check out, man. So let's go ahead and uh, end this shit and start the day. Actually, I ain't even ending shit. I'm watching Mall Rats. Let's watch flipping Mall Rats. I don't know if y'all, any of y'all have seen Mall Rats or not, man. This is the high school reunion edition. Uh, it's a Kevin Smith movie. Um, I think it, I'm, I'm not sure. I think it was actually the very first uh, um, entrance of uh, all of them, you know, including Jay and Silent Bob. So, uh, would you like a chocolate covered pretzel? time my cousin Walter got this cat stuck in his ass. True story. He bought it at our local mall, so the whole fiasco wound up on the news. All right, guys, here we are, me and my man. I'm a homie right here. I can't, I don't know if I'm going to say your name. <laughs> Ghost. Ghost, I said I was going to call him Ghost here. <laughs> me and Ghost, man, man, we just met up here, man, a couple of days ago, man, and uh, he's been really cool, man. You've been watching, you've been watching for a while, right? Long time. Long yeah, time, yeah. For a real long time. Yeah, and he was like, holy shit, he's in the area, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's been cool as hell, man. We're going to Portland today, right? Yeah, we're going to go to Portland, check out some stuff, see what's going on. Let's see what's going on, man. We're going to check out the world's only cryptozoology museum. Yeah. I looked that shit up. It's the world's only. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna check out uh, what's the restaurant? Uh, Becky's Be Diner. Becky's Diner. It's a, a non no nonsense American diner. <laughs> fisherman. A, a fisherman. A no a no nonsense fisherman diner. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna check that out. What where else the we got? Mingo. Huh? That's where the lobster men go. That's where the lobster men go. Yeah. I'm not big on lobster. Oh. I'm out here in Maine, dude, and I'm not big on lobster, dude. They're, they're telling me, like, oh, you're going to eat a lobster and you're going to love it. <laughs> I'm going to eat it like, it's good. It's breakfast. Lobster for breakfast? No, no. Eggs and stuff. Omelet. Like shrimp and grits? They got shrimp and grits? They might. That's a southern thing right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, we're going to check out Bigfoot, Loch Ness Monster, man. 
few Fort other things, Williams. man. Huh? Fort Williams. Fort Williams. We'll check out a fort today? Yep. All right. We'll check out Fort Williams. Lighthouse. Lighthouse? Yeah. That's awesome, man. I was looking I was looking up the lighthouses that was around or whatever, and uh, I think I did see the one in Portland. I was like, well, I ain't going to go see this one for a long time. Oh, we're going to see it today. Today. So freaking awesome, man. So, uh, uh Everyone give my homie Ghost here thanks, man. Give him a huge shout out right there, man. Right there for Ghost. Thank you, thank him for them taking me out here and, and showing us Portland, man. He's gonna show us Portland today. So uh damn sun's in my eyes. This ain't the best time to vlog. Let me go ahead, I'll catch back up with you guys. Alright, here we are in beautiful Portland. And what we got here? Some kind of globe. Yeah, beautiful Portland, man. We were gonna go eat at Becky's for breakfast, but uh <laughs> it was jam-packed. So we're going to just walk around a little bit, you know, take in the sights and stuff and uh, work up some appetites and, uh, yeah, see what Portland has to offer. Um, look at this. It's pretty. It kind of reminds me of Charleston a little bit. Um, right on the sea, you know, it's just kind of got kind of an older feel to it. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, except he says it's pretty much the same except for it's cold. <laughs> except for it's cold. I love it. I, wanna, I don't know whether I want to take this damn flannel off or not. I think I might take it off. I'm walking around looking like Paul Bunyan here. <laughs> We're not in Hollis anymore. No. All right, so here we are in beautiful downtown Portland. I want you to take a look at this, guys. I'm looking for myself. I'm going to take all this in for three seconds. All right, look at this, man. This is so pretty. Look at that. This is, I like that building right there. And uh, someone's behind me. <laughs> Yeah, it is really, really nice and old out here. Kind of, like I said, it, it's it's better than Charleston. It, it's kind of, yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of got that Charleston meets Boston kind of feel, man. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. Hot dog. How you doing, sir? Hey, man. Good, right on. How much are your hot dogs? Uh, his hot dogs are two fifty. Two fifty. Oh, they're getting rather. They're still getting. They're still getting it together. Hot dog for breakfast, man. <laughs> right, which way are we going? We going down this way or? All right, let me cut this off before I cross. <laughs> You're like, yeah, they start off at five bucks. <laughs> Cameras rolling. Are you going? <laughs> Oh man! So I wonder if there's some haunted, haunted history out here in Portland. Oh, there is. I can only, I can only imagine, man. One of the oldest cemeteries in uh, New England. In the world, you hear that? One of the oldest cemeteries in the world, right here. In... Is it Evergreen Cemetery? No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is the oldest in the world. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it certainly is. No way. No, the, the That's... oldest. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the oldest cemetery in the world. The oldest. The, no. You hear that, guys? The straight up oldest right here in Portland. Portland is the oldest city in the world. Well, something, something's fishy. Something smells fishy about all this. Speaking of that, man, I want to get me some damn fish and chips. Hey, you probably get that at Becky's Diner. Fish and chips. But she, I, that's what I was thinking. Like, you wouldn't have got that for breakfast, though, right? I, oh, you probably get that. You, probably, you can get it for breakfast. Anytime. We're gonna see. Look at this. That's pretty right there. It's pretty. That's awesome. Look at that. Do not take the candy, kids. Please do not take the candy. Oh my god. All right. I gotta tell you, there's a lot of good-looking women out here too, man. God. Huh? Still early. Still early, baby. Hey, but it's, it's cold out here, and they're still wearing yoga pants. Gotta love it. All right, here we got cool as a moose. We're gonna check it out because I need some sunglasses. Think about some sunglasses. So cool as is this store? Yep, that's it. All right, let's see how cool as a moose looks. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, how y'all doing? Good man, just checking your stuff out. Where's sunglasses? All right, here we go. You got some right here. Chocolate covered sunflower seeds, and they call them Maine lobster squirts. Interesting. Oh, I'm gonna choke the chicken. Choking my chicken over people. But it didn't work. And so I guess these are squirts too, just different flavor, different. Seagull food. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome, man. I gotta get some seagull poop. Oh, crap, it's catching me. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, look at this stuff. Snowman poop. 
elk poop, reindeer poop. <laughs> I love this place, man. The coolest moose. Okay, uh, you know I love my hot sauces. They got hot sauces and stuff here. Here you go. Want to burn some karma? Blueberry habanero. Burning at both ends. Karma. Look at this, man. I hope that they don't shit on me. <laughs> when you're flying above, you look up. The birds! Birds! Cool little cobblestone alley. Much love to the Maine Black Bears. Is it the Black Bears? Yeah, it is. Maine Black Bears. And then the Boston Celtics. The Celties, baby. I gotta get rid of this Oakland hat. I told you, so I told you that I almost got beat up. <laughs> he does need to get rid of that. Get him some New England gear. Ain't it? Maybe I'll find a hat out here or something. I got one on the way, but uh, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> I could be treading on dangerous territory right now. So check it out. Oh man. So how old do you think this is? About a thousand years? I have no idea. Honestly, this think this has been here since like um, been here a long time. Since like 400 BC. Cobblestone. Yeah, it's probably been here. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, two, three hundred BC. Yeah, two, three hundred BC. Yeah, the, the lost city of Atlantis has actually, you know, donated this street. You know, yeah. when it, this is back before the city was lost, though. They just, they were just Atlantis. They dug it up, and now it's here. What the hell is Mash Ton? Mash Ton. Do you know? Have any clue? Local crap, burgers, and tacos. Oh, I thought you said local crap. I was like, ah, this is a bunch of local crap out here. I bet it's burgers, good as hell. Burgers and tacos. Mmm. Mmm. What do you have here? It's a little cold, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. I ain't even nowhere near time for that yet. That's what, that's what, noon or something? Yeah, dude. What time is it now? 10.30, probably? Oh. Here we have the Portland Lobster Company was interesting. I'm telling you, Maine is all about their lobster. And we're thinking about going out and trapping some lobsters. <laughs> yeah, we are. Seriously, yeah, you want, you want to do it? Check this out, that's pretty. <laughs> we're going out, we're thinking about uh, my friend, his friend has a, a boat and stuff and they got traps and they, you know, thinking about getting some lobsters. It's like, when's the season? Uh, the season's, uh, it was, it's just kicking off right now. Uh, we, no, we can still get a few. Hey, the Long Wharf, is this it? This, this is it. This is where DeMillo's is at. All right, we're trying to get out on the water here. Yeah, we've been, <laughs> we come up on we're like, Struggling. is this private property? The guy's like, it is private property. Have a good day, sir. We'll turn around now. He was, <laughs> yeah, like, we'll turn around now. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I remember I seen some stuff on uh, Dirty Jobs, you know, they uh, wrapping up the boats. Have you ever seen that? I have, uh, like, it's I have like really not. dangerous and stuff like that, man, damn. Oh, it's cold. Years ago. Woo! We was talking about back in school, you know, man. We'd, we'd, get, up, we'd get up behind each other, man, and, like thump each other's ears. Whew. Now, look at this boat. Now, this is interesting. What is this, do you think? Right. Oh, oh, this see, this is the wrapping it up. They're preparing it. See, that's the webbing. Yeah, that's what we're going to take out, actually, to catch our lobsters. That's my buddy's boat. No way. <laughs> You're so full of shit. Here's the Harbor Queen. Wonder where the Harbor King is. I might have to come aboard. <laughs> Probably gonna get around the corner. Look at this, man. This is so awesome. I just like to sit on one of those decks and just chill out. Burn a fat one and just <laughs> check out the water. <sighs> How you doing, sir? Hey, guys. Great. Hey. Yourselves? Awesome. All right. So this, I guess, is like a charter boat or something that they can just... Uh, they must take people out on tours on it. I mean, look at this. This is just a sight to see, guys. It really is pretty. It's pretty. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. And then, of course, there's a, he says this is what, DeMillo's? Yeah, DeMillo's. It's a restaurant on a boat. Restaurant on a boat. On a yacht. Yacht. <laughs> Just imagine somebody, somebody's down there plowing some chick right now. <laughs> what? I'm filming it. Here we have a lobster boat. Look at all these traps. The rubber bands, the band's claws. Mm-hmm. That's where the majority of America's lobsters are coming from, right out here, right? A lot of them come from Maine. Maine. Whoo, baby, I love it. Different tactics. I don't know if we can, can we walk past this? I'm not sure. Let's find out. I'm gonna document it. 
If I get shot, guys, I can't go much further than this. Mm. Okay. So this is Jamilo's yacht sales. This is a sale. This is a sale. It's not a, a restaurant. That's a restaurant. He lied. I'm gonna be a little quiet because they're gonna be like, "Yo, you gotta get out of here." I want to try to give you guys as much shot as I can. So this is actually a restaurant right here. Yeah. That's so cool. A lot of money out here, guys. A lot of money. Yeah. I see we can't get it. Some wind power. Keep it green. Gotta have that green power. But now I wonder if we can, we're gonna have to go back out to the road again and cross all the back over there. We are having a time trying to get to this wharf, people. Call me stupid. Call me stupid. I live here. Call him stupid. Kind of remind me of Charleston, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Portland is just really amazing. And here you have, here you have it. May you have fair winds and following seas. Look at this, guys. It's just awesome. Fishing war. Hey, there's some in the water over there. There's a bird, probably. Oh, no, it looks like a little, uh... A seal or something? Yeah, it looks like a little seal. I wonder if they got seals out here. Oh, yeah. Dude, we gotta find us a seal. I need to find Andre. I Matter of fact, what? you remember the, uh, the, the movie Andre about the seal or whatever? There's a movie called Andre about the seal. It was, I think it was based out of Portland. Really? I, yeah, I was looking up some like uh, history and stuff like that. Probably Andre. I think I saw. Let's go see if we can't find us a seal, man. Harbor Fish Market, lobster, fish, clams. Mm, you can just smell the seafood out here too. You smell it? I do. I don't like seafood though. You called it the butthole fountain. <laughs> is that what you thought it was? That? that is what I thought it was. Over here at the butthole fountain. It's a porthole though. That's why it smells like fish. Oh, look, they're going into the butthole. <laughs> oh, she just fucking looked at me and he just shook his head. I think they, I think they heard it. Oh, uh, man, fast. Freaking sea bag. Yeah, let's wrap a minute, bro. Put the hook on that bug. Put the hook on that beat. Come here, boy. Come here. He ain't pressed, bro. He's chilling. Oh, it's okay. to stick. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I can't walk through there, guys. Look. <laughs> I was going to say, we're walking through a shipping yard we're not supposed Look. to be in. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, dude. Oh, God, yeah. It smells like fish in the <laughs> sitting out in the sun for a week. I'm glad I started recording that, dude. Right as I started, you were like, yeah. <laughs> That was nasty. That was just the <laughs> nastiest smell ever, guys. I'm suspecting folks coming for it. <laughs> I feel for whoever is working there, man. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't even know what's going to hit them. Man, I'm thirsty, bro. Think we can drink this? Think I can drink that water? Yeah. I bet you could at least get half of it. Challenge. What's good? I just drank water from Burby Square. <laughs> she was like, oh my God, that guy. He's going to be sick for the rest of the day now. <laughs> I'm going to blame it on Becky's. We're going to go to Becky's and I'm going to be like, yo, Becky's dead. He's this guy right here. He's going to be like, it wasn't Becky's. He drank the water. <laughs> He's like, I'm not letting you take out Becky's. No, Becky's is good. That water's were good. That water was good. Is it what you needed? It's what I needed. I'm, I'm, re, I'm, I'm, re, I'm rejuvenated. It's thirsty. I'm, I'm revitalized. All right, so here's Becky's. Look at everyone still waiting, man. It's all right. We are going to wait with them. We're going to get... <laughs> yeah. I just kind of like the view of the road. Is that a big church up there? Or... Yeah, I think it is. Okay, I'm shaking. Shaking. Look how big that church is. That's real pretty. Got a nice bell tower. <gasps> For whom the bell tolls? <laughs> All right.
right, so here we have, was it the Portland Observatory? That's it. The Portland Observatory. Let's see if we can kind of get back and get some of this. I, <laughs> I can't. So that is it, the Portland Walk Up On It. Let's walk up on this bad boy as soon as traffic goes by. Come on, baby. Thinking about buying a New England hat. <laughs> Patriots. Think, think about getting a Patriots hat. I'm a New Englander now. This is a Patriots fan. Am I a New Englander now? Oh, yeah. New Englander, baby. At all. Look at that. Nice view. Okay, so here we have it. Portland Observatory, founded in 1807. And all, they, all they're missing is a windmill. Let's walk up. Let's see what we it's cost $20 just to walk in here, though. So I don't think we're going to be forking that over. <laughs> I not worth it. I wonder how far up we can get. Well, yeah. send us out anyway. Right. No, sir. Oh, going a little bit. Okay, here we have, let's see here. Portland Observatory has been designated a National Historic Landmark. Sir, it served as a communication station for Portland's bustling harbor from 1807 to 1923. National Historic Landmark. Portland Observatory. It's so cool, man. Told you, man, I wanted to get out and travel and do stuff, man, and we're doing it, baby. It's amazing. So we're going to go ahead and hack into these doors now. All right, let's go to Hilltop Supermarket. Is it Superette? Superette. Hilltop Superette. I'm thirsty. Let's see what they got in here. Hey, little one. What is it called? Um, All right, so which fort is this? Uh, it's Fort uh, Prince William. Fort Prince William. <laughs> Freaking mis misinformation, son of a gun. Whatever fort it is, I don't think they like him too much. They got a cannon. <laughs> Aim straight at my dude. Look at this. Hold on, guys. Look. Serious look. Oh, it's off just a little bit. Crank it up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and. I got another right here. All right, let's show a little bit of respect, actually. This is kind of a memorial, huh? I think so. Look, what is this? That's like the, 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 the crow's nest on a battleship? Yeah, looks like it. The front of a boat, huh? Look at this, guys. This is just so amazing out here, man. Look, I can just keep panning over. Look at that. Just keep panning over. Let's go swim out to that island. Is that a house over there? Yeah. This guy's gonna let us get through. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, look, yeah. This is awesome. Anyone's living in that port over there? Huh? I wonder if anyone lives up there. I don't know, let's we'll swim out there and see. Kind of underground. Can you see it? Uh-uh, where? Right up there. Underground. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, over there. Wow. Okay, let's see what this says. USS Portland C-8-333 Heavy Cruiser. World War II Battle Record. Accepted the Japanese surrender at truck September 2nd, 1945. So that is what... This big thing is behind me. Oh my goodness, look, this is talking about the battleship. U.S. US Portland at war. We shot so much, our gun started to melt. <laughs> Dude, look at this thing, guys. So I'm assuming that was just right out here, huh? Just doom, 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 doom. Can you imagine it, guys? This is so amazing. Let's get back and just get a good shot of this. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm wondering, what the hell is that way out there? I don't know. It looks like there's a house over there on the island. Yeah, there's Oprah's house over there. There's Oprah's. Up there. Yeah, that's uh, Ma Barker. I don't know who Ma Barker is. All right. This monument is dedicated to the memory of those men who served on board USS Portland. 
Give you guys a shot of all of them. Thank you all. These gave the last full measure. Greater love hath no man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. I agree. Here we have honoring those who served. Welcome to the USS Portland Memorial. So that's so cool. It's really, really nice out here. Breathing in. And it's just like the, the air is just cleaner too, you know? It's just, everything is just, uh, so it's pretty. Loving it. We be loving Becky's if they can freaking open. <laughs> Me too. We decided to hang out at Becky's. They were like, no, let's get the hell out of here. We'll come back. So, oh, is it like a bonsai tree? Let's Probably again. Let's again, man. Yeah, man. Okay, so this tree might actually be something because it looks like there's a marker right here in front of it. <coughs> Let's see what this... It looks exotic. 20,000 Civil War veterans tented here. See that? In 1885 reunion, the 19th National Encampment of the Grand Army of the Republic pitched tents here. The GAR was an organization of Union Army, Navy, and U.S. Revenue... Cutter service veterans whose membership peaked at 400,000. They all camped right out here. All right out there. And look at this tree. Yeah, this is a weird, a weird fur, is it not? Have you, do you see many of these around here? Not shaped like this. Mm-mm. It's got pine cones on it, though. Yeah, so it's, a, it's definitely an oak. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's got pine cones. I'm like, well, it's an oak. Let's go have a seat. Okay, here we have eternal vigilance is the price of liberty. One country and one flag in memory of the Grand Army of the Republic, dedicated September 9th, 1929, by the Daughters of Union Veterans, the Civil War, 1861, 1865. Cup of squaw for you guys. This is a nice view, though, man. Look at this. See what I'm seeing, guys. Look at that, man. It's just... It's almost too much for words. All right, what does it say again? There's a... Gun recovered from USS Maine sunk in the harbor of Savannah, Cuba, February 15, 1898. Wow. So they got that out of Havana. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Can you just imagine old damn sea captain down there getting into some salty crap. Arrgh, get a hell out of here. <laughs> is that thing sunk in or? Looks like it is. He has plundered our seas, ravaged our coast, burnt our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people, including Portland. Look at that, man. This is. Wow, well, they burned all that up. Where's the fort? Where's the fort? See see the berms colored green in 1904's photo? That's the fort. So we're, what? So is this the fort? This is actually the fort. We're on the fort. Are we? I think this is the fort. Yep, all this. See all the berms that were green? That was the fort. Erosion has reduced its size. Oh, yeah. yeah, but these, so these bumps and these hills were actually the fort, guys. And it's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's awesome, man. We're just talking about it. You know, when you think about forts and stuff, you think about big buildings like the one back here behind me. But, in fact, you know, this fort was pretty much these fortified uh, hills that they had that they had built up. They say it's eroded now, but I guess, you know, that it was damn a good five, six, eight, ten foot. And the people were hiding behind the hills, running up, shooting, lobbing whatever over, and then coming back down. And then like my man Jay here says, damn, can you just imagine 20,000 soldiers camped out here? Yeah. That was what, 1893, I think they said, or something like that? 1902 or, or something. 19. Wow, man, it's amazing, dude. Guys, get out here and check out Portland, man. This place is beautiful. Uh-uh. B&M Baked Bean Factory. About to show y'all the B&M Baked Bean Factory in a minute. What's up, guys? <laughs> he was just like, I was like, yeah! So this is just a little park, you know what I mean? Just... 
something closer to the water, guys. There's the baked bean factory. Bushes baked beans? Don't be in that big. So not bushes? No. So no one cares? No, everybody cares. B and <laughs> So where are these seals? Oh, what is it, Andre? We need to find Andre oh, the seal. Oh. Look, those might be seals out there. Something popping. Dude, look at this. This is just too cool, man. Right, I'm about to walk through some grizzled haggard shit. No, I'm, no, I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Burp! So something, oh, those are birds. You put your initials in here like everybody else did. That was it. Ain't it? Nothing more romantic than taking a fucking knife on a date with you. Okay, guys, look at this. Ah. <laughs> look at this one. This one's almost like a, a gumball or something. Yeah, I know it. Look at that one. That was like slate. This is like slabs of concrete. Wow. Look at this, dudes. Look at this, guys. This is just cool. I came down to the water's edge. I didn't do it. I saw who did. All right, man. I'm stepping on freaking Snuffleupagus. Ah. All right, here we are. Right near the beach, boy. Look how pretty it is, guys. Get you a piece of glass. Hello. Sea glass. Sea glass, really? Yeah. That's awesome. I want some sea glass. I want to find a shark's tooth. You're not getting a shark's tooth around here, are you? You never know. One may never know. Okay. <laughs> Let's skip some rocks with my homies. Oh, that went seven times. Did it go seven times? I mean, I'm gonna one up here seven times. And you're gonna what? Do six? No eight. <laughs> 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 <Absolutely>. <laughs> hey, my only went. Mine only went two. Is that it? Yeah. Ah, you lied. So huh? we tied. <laughs> We so tied. Are you, are you calling me out for a duel off again? A duel! I gotta get another one. All right, guys. Oh, look at that. This one's perfect. You got a good one? I gotta find a good one. Look at that, guys. Oh. You're gonna die. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, he didn't get it. One! <laughs> God! Oh, I only got one, but it was... No, one. it went... You only, you only got one? That was two. What is it? Well, I guess, I guess so. One, one skip is one. One, uh, Mine just dove. Then straight in. Yeah, so you won. I think I win. You won. Look at that, guys. Amazing! <laughs> one suit fucking under that thing. Yeah, you got it. Then want my shoes to get all messed up. It's all right. <laughs> that thing is complete, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get it. You ain't getting it. Ain't coming. I got me some sea glass, straight from Portland. That'll go into my keepsake box, guys. Anybody want some Portland sea glass? Let me know. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Charlie checking in right there. Ow! Told my wolf pack, man. 6.30 in the morning, we're walking through Biddeford. We're in Biddeford, Maine, baby. Um, we're going to go check out the Saco River today. Um, it's, it's haunted. It's, it's supposedly cursed from the 1500s. I'll tell that story for you later. But, um, but yeah, not much is going on today, man. Just hanging out. Might go to McDonald's, get something to eat. There's Starbucks right there. Screw Starbucks. Um, we get squirms in your we're going to get squirms. Here's my dude, Brian, with me right there. Tell the boy what's up, Brian. How you doing? How you doing? Stay How you tuned for our ISO video tonight. Yes. ISO video tonight, man. Y'all gonna be we're gonna be doing some stuff out the river, right? Yeah. And uh, a few other things. So let's just kick back, hang out at the sit go. Look at that, 619 for Winston's. I'm trying to quit smoking, guys, but uh, I think I'm gonna have to get me a pack today. I mean, I pro I'm sorry, guys. If there's somewhere around here I can buy a vape pen, I'll buy a damn vape pen. But uh, I, I yeah, I really need a freaking cigarette.
like I said, man, when you're checking out new places, new things, man, try their local eateries, you know what I'm saying, damn, really famous places that are local. So here we are at a uh, locally famous McDonald's. <laughs> Wake up and smell the Sprite. Wake up and smell the Sprite, guys. <laughs> All right, breakfast is served. Let me show you guys this. Steak, egg, and cheese bagel. Onions. Mm. And a hash brown. Not hash brown, whatever to add. Hash brown? Hash brown, not hash. <laughs> so we're gonna sit here and chill out here a little bit, man. Before let the sun come up, burn some of this cold off. We're gonna get out of here. Time limit over here says 30 minutes. Better push that. <laughs> you, you know that the crew over here, they've been here for longer than 30 damn minutes. What do you think? <laughs> All right, my biscuit came with a special prize. Where is it? No hair. Uh, only at Walmart. All right, just chilling out over here at my friend's house, man. Uh, taking a little break uh, with the guys out here. Uh, almost got beat up by a crazy old man for my damn Raiders hat. He was like, a, <laughs> he guess he's a big Steelers fan. And he's like, and Raiders, they like to play dirty. Well, you know what? We play dirty too. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, yo, bro, I don't got no sentimental attachment to this hat, man. I just, I just, I just like it, man. Back in the night, I started getting into it, like, I started explaining to this guy, you know what I'm saying? And he's like, man, that's right. We'll play dirty too. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, look, man, everybody's a little dirty. <laughs> and this dude looked a little dirty. I hate, I'm sorry to say that, but yeah, I was like, yeah, everybody's a little dirty. You know what I'm saying? I, pissing me off, man. Don't go crazy about no damn hat. I got a Celtics hat coming in anyway, man. So kind of go incognito. So take a look at this right here. Got ourselves a plow head right here that we're going to go ahead and plow some snow. Call Mr. Plow. That's the name. That name again is Mr. Plow. Are we? <laughs> See, I did it too. <laughs> All right, here we are walking through Pleasantville, USA, man. It's beautiful out here. Look at this, man. It's just, it really is, man. It's just really quaint and quiet, you know, kind of historical and beautiful. Beautiful, wet, rainy Maine. <laughs> we are walking up here to the Saco River. It's about a mile and a half from where we are right now. And uh, like I said, I'm going to give you some more background story when we get there. But, um, uh, like I said, supposedly it's uh, been cursed by a, a Native American shaman. He was a medicine man of the tribe. And um, his child was actually thrown into the river and drowned as a baby. Um, there was, there was, I'll tell you more when we get there. I, I, don't, I want the scenery to be just right, guys. Because walking around through, uh, well, this almost feels like the town or something, like uh, somewhere in Boston or something, you know, damn. Uh, <laughs> it does, it really does, man. It feels like uh, The Departed or something out here. Just look at it, man. You can see my man over here. I swear I'm not a fucking cop. So what we have here is what, the old Biddeford High School? Yep. It's pretty big. I like that uh, steeple they got up there. What is it now? Um, it's basically like a housing development where they mm. um, lease people, government houses and such. Uh, it's interesting. It's a government housing. Yep, so there we have it. Biddeford High School. If any of y'all have uh, gone to Biddeford High School, I'm on your old stomping grounds. It's Howard Bagger with the roof on it. That's Saco? Yep. That's where the river flows? The river flows. It's where the cursed river flows. The river flows. Touch me as the journey of my no. Shut up, Charlie. I'm going to fall down this hill now. Here we have Bedford Veterans Memorial Park, dedicated in 1993 to, to those who made the supreme sacrifice. Thank you to all of our veterans. We love you all. Okay, so here we have Coasters. It's an old bar. You know, I don't really give a crap about that, but you know me, man. I like artwork, you know. This isn't the greatest artwork, but it's still cool. Look what we got here. Under the Sea theme. Got some... Ooh, some intestines. It's like some kind of weird dog. <laughs> oh, there's my girl Mermaid, Ariel. And pretty much the same deal. But uh, yeah, yeah, I love any kind of like local artwork, man. I love sharing with you guys, man. That, that really cool piece in Boston I showed you uh, right there outside of Chinatown, which we are going back to Boston here soon. There's a, there's a, a train that we can take, right? 
There's a train that we can take to Boston. It'll get us there in like an hour, man. And uh, we're going to do a Boston vlog here in a few weeks, man. So you know what I say, man? You can't see it, but live your life. Ooh, Louis Pizza. Mmm, that sounds good. Even with the boarded wind. What? Now, you know this is a high-end establishment. Check out Louis Pizza. And here we have just opened up into Sleepy Town, USA. George's sandwich. I bet they got a really good sandwich, too. Yeah, they're not too bad. Oh, man, let's check it out. Got this old abandoned, what, town hall thing here? Yeah, that used to be the, um, the court. That was the courthouse? Yeah, no, the courthouse right there. Uh, the, with the big that's dome back behind it? That's, no, that's the courthouse right there. Right over here. Yeah, What's up, Cuz? What's going on, brother? It's my cousin, Danny. Oh. <laughs> Palace Diner. Ladies invited. I like that. It's kind of quaint. Look at that. I bet they, you know, like I say, man, a lot of the greasy spoons, man, they make some of the best food, man. I want to check out some of these places and do some reviews for you guys. Let me know what you think. Dude, look, this is actually a really pretty city right here, man. It almost reminds me of, like, downtown Charleston 30 years ago or something, you know? It's so awesome. Got all the reefs out there. Is that the bank? Is that my bank? No. Dang it. I need to find... Bank of America. If any of y'all know where the Bank of America is in, here in Biddeford, let me know. Because <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be here today or tomorrow. Today, I'm here today. So there we have. What is that? That's the town hall. Town hall. Okay. So there we have Biddeford Town Hall. I can, I can see uh, Jock putting the damn, <laughs> putting the lightning rod up, whatever, to there. Yeah. Push it to 88, Marty. Um, I better not be screaming out here, man. Nobody's going to arrest me. <laughs> um, oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. I gaze upon your beauty. Okay, so I'm going to stop here for a second. Hey, right, guys. Right for my so on assignment. This is one of the haunted spots in Biddeford. Little city theater. Um, yeah. It's, uh... Supposedly this theater is haunted and it's locked. Dang it. I'll try to get into this theater though. <sighs> City theater is supposedly haunted. I'm look into that. I look at that art. That's kind of cool. Ooh, look, they're showing a Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Da -da 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 -da. Cow, would you look at that? Good grief, it's the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. All it needs is a little love. <laughs> All right, so here we have some Russian white sage in the, in the front of MacArthur Library, and apparently it's illegal. It's, it's illegal in Biddeford, Maine. He said it, it's against code, it's code violation. <laughs> we know who he's working for. <laughs> Yeah, you like my new lighter. Bin lit. Uh, check it out. The walk and roll. Man, I love this place. We had one of these in Columbia, actually. <laughs> That's what happens when a pumpkin <laughs> when a pumpkin loses their dentures. <laughs> yeah, guys, see this, man? This, you show me the old, the old, the old, the old trash burner said it used to damn. Stink pretty damn bad out here. <laughs> also, though, guys, you know, we are walking through heavily uh, traffic area where I'm about to get run over by the up skies. Okay, so this is these are the mills out here. What do they do out here in these mills? Um, they used to they used to make um, blankets and stuff. It was uh, really really popular in uh, United States, Japan, and stuff to buy blankets from Maine. Uh huh. And uh, once they closed the mills, everybody lost their jobs, and they started turning the places into businesses and homes. And now, now, is this the place where where they made the blankets with the smallpox in them? No. <laughs> no, that's not funny. But yeah, anyway, uh, yeah. So hey, we're coming up on what the the oldest part of the mill here uh, in a minute, right? Yeah, this is where the curse is supposed to be originated. The curse originated here. Yes. All right, now, will you fill us in on the curse a little bit? You, you, you know more about it than I do. Well, back 
Jeez, I don't know the exact dates. Just say it was like 15 something. Yeah, uh, back back in the dates a long time ago, uh, the settlers took a child and was jokingly just joking. They didn't think that it would drown or nothing, but threw her into the into the water and she went into the falls and drowned. And uh, the shaman put a curse on the river and made it so that there was a river monster would come out and take uh, three lives a year. And since ever since that curse, three lives a year have been taken. Three lives a year, yes. And they and I, I've read about it on Google, and they said that, yes, indeed, you know, uh, the curse stands true, that people at least three a year die. Ooh, let's look at this. It's kind of cool. Yeah, it's the, it's the uh, main brewing company. Uh, Probably the one for that. So this is it, guys. This is the Saco River, the cursed Saco River put my soda down. I swear I don't need any more curses right now, man. I got a lot, enough going on as it is, but... So are these the falls of the bay you fell down? Yeah. These are the, ball, the balls. These are the falls that the baby was swept into and lost, lost its life. And uh, like I said, uh, the shaman that put a curse. Now, how far does this river go? Does it go back how, that way? All the way up Maine. I think I said, said uh, out into the ocean, right? Yep. So. Right down this uh, stream here. We'll go down. We'll go around down the road and go up to the Saco Island itself and go to the other side of the dam. Uh -huh. And uh, show you guys what the other side is. Excellent fishing spot. Stripers. As big as you can catch them. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we're going to get down there and, uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out, man. Rocking with my guy, Ben. Ben, why did I call you? <laughs> Rocking with my guy, Brian. And this, look, that's just pretty. You know, it's, it's, it's such a beautiful sight for such a sad, sad history, you know. A history that, unfortunately, is true. Oh, God. Damn. I'm out of... <laughs> thing I wanted to share with you guys real quick while we're taking this walk man damn today at this time right now about maybe maybe 30 minutes ago I was getting out of jail <laughs> this time last year damn uh there was some back child support that hadn't been taken care of you know that I had to uh you know I had to take care of so damn uh I went in I was uh I was gone for Thanksgiving I'm not Thanksgiving uh, Halloween and I got out uh, yeah, the, the day before Thanksgiving, man, and I'll never forget it, man, dad came, picked me up, and, uh, and man, you know, you know, dad, you know, he's sick right now, you know, but, uh, man, you know, when he picked me up this time last year, I was shocked, man, I was like, wow, dad, you know, you, you've lost a lot of weight, you know, man, he did, he looked, and, and then just to, to see him now, you know, <sighs> yeah, I don't know what to say, man, it's, it's sad, you know, I mean, I love my dad, you know, <laughs> like I always say, you know, the good die young, so my dad was going to live forever <laughs> with his old mean ass, you know, and uh, maybe that was me just kind of putting a defense, putting up a defense, you know, saying, putting up my walls and stuff and just still seeing dad as being, you know, invincible and untouchable, you know, and just the great protector, you know, but to see dad in, you know, in this position that he is, he's in right now, you know, I just, I can't help but just, just. Just love them and feel. I had a wonderful idea for you. Huh? You know how uh, your dad has my ass stinks? Uh huh. You should get the same exact tattoo, but say my ass stinks too. No, man. <laughs> Dude, are you gonna tattoo it for me? Maybe. Let me get two thousand likes. Two thousand <laughs> likes. I thought it was gonna be two thousand likes to get my ass tased. Oh. The They're wanting y'all to get 2,000 likes on the ISO channel, and I'll let Dave tase me. What do you think? Let me know. Ah! In the comments. Huh? Let them know in the comments. Yeah, let us let us know. Oh, I know it's going to be good. Tase them. Don't stop. All right, guys. So here, right here at this trust, we have the Biddeford and Saco state line. You can just stay up, stay over here in Saco. It's a 
Hello, you stay over there in Saco. Hey, you're in Stay in Saco. You're not welcome in Bedford. Come here. Wait. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> What's he saying? Come to the dark side. We have cookies. Mm. I got the milk. <laughs> All right, guys. This is the next spot. This quaint little crossing bridge. Hey, kitty kitty. What's that say? Uh, Jubilee Park 1981, sponsored by Seiko JCs. It's pretty. How you doing, sir? Every time I think, think about this, I can just hear like the. But you don't see nobody at the end, and it's the freaking Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. It's the guy from Sleepy Hollow. All right, so this is the uh, Memorial Park. Yeah. The Memorial Park that leads us right out here to another part of the Saco River. It's really peace out, peaceful out here. It's really nice. It's raining out here, guys, but I still wanted to show you this cursed river. Um, I'm not sure if it's cursed or if it's just the river itself. You know, because it's, it's a treacherous river, right? I'm sure lots of people believe in this curse. I'm not going to say I don't because, I, you know, I don't know. But I'm here today, and, you know, we're going to come back out here. By the way, guys, we're going to come back out here and do an investigation. We just ordered our ghost box and our e, uh, e, uh, EMF detector. Ghost box and EMF detectors, guys. So we got some serious gear to start doing these ghost hunts for you. Wow. The Saco River. Can you just imagine it? Let's see if we can get down here. Let's see if we can get down here without busting my ass. <laughs> All right. You know, another thing I'm not used to out here, man, are these big rocks, man. Look. You know, we don't, we don't have rocks and stuff like this down south man it's real sandy and real beachy and stuff you know it's it's really cool so yeah here it is the Saco river man like i said i was looking up on wikipedia they said it was like 1565 or something like that two guys apparently there was a woman her she the medicine man and his wife had a baby and supposedly the baby could swim from birth is what they said so a couple of settlers you know they got drunk one night and uh canoed across they found the woman in the canoe they kidnapped the stole the canoe kidnapped the baby promptly threw it right there in the water Boop baby drowned of course and um the woman's husband like i said he was a shaman he's a medicine man and he cursed this river this very river right here and they say that uh, three white men he said three white men a year will die on this river and also they um the thing is is that uh, these uh these indians these native americans they worshiped a river monster they believed that there was a river monster what the hell Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sitting there talking about river monsters, and then boom, I see something. Ah, oh, dude. So they believed that there was a river monster in here, in this water, and they they worshiped this monster. And he summoned, he called upon this monster uh, to take three white men a year to avenge the death of his child. So is it a curse, or is this just a really, really dangerous river? You be the judge. Dude, I don't know if it's that building, that building, your feet, my feet, but I smell freaking cheese its bro. You smell that? Yeah, it's the building. Huh? It smells like freaking cheese its <laughs> All right, here we are coming up on an opening. <laughs> an opening. Let's see what this opening has in store for us. Always up for an adventure, baby. Always. Charlie Travels. You never know where the hell you're going to go. Okay. My esteemed, spectacular tour guide has just informed me that this is where the Saco River meets the ocean. Pretty interesting, huh? Let's get a little closer and uh, get a better view of this. Okay. So here it is. I don't know what used to be here. Something right along this river. I'm sure it's something that some cargo containers from the ocean um, brought in. But, yep, this is it. This is the ocean's just right past them damn trees, probably, or a couple miles around the bend. But 
Who knows? This could be a really deep spot. This could be where the freaking river monster lives. I bet, man, if this is like a, a, a shipping spot or whatever, man, it's got to be deep enough for a big-ass damn tank. I'm scared. Get back up. <laughs> okay, so like I say, I don't know what was over here, but there's a wall, and I like graffiti. There's a wall, just a random wall here they left up with some graffiti I want to show you guys. I like this. And also, don't... I need a tetanus shot. I don't know what that is. Drip, drip. The one I want to show you is over here. This one's pretty interesting. I don't know what that is. Back to the Atari days. Yeah. Look at that. Kinaz. And then a spaceship. You know me. I'm from outer space. So naturally, I'm drawn to spaceships. So, yep. Crazy stuff you don't never know you'll find, man. Let's go for a walk. So our search on Saco River was fun, man. It was really beautiful. I enjoyed it. But that is done. Now we're checking out another local, another local haunt, Walmart. <laughs> Got to get a few things, man. A couple of long john shirts, man. A couple of uh, money orders. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't get in too much trouble in here. <laughs> so I want to thank everybody that has written me and reached out, you know, through my P.O. box, man. I'm saving all of your addresses. And I am getting a couple... Christmas cards here and I will be sending them to each and every one of you so just to show my love and appreciation happy holidays and check out this blast from the past straight up flip these used to be the deal I want to show you guys look it's only a dollar fifty a month or forty nine dollars about contract flipping out over it all right okay how about this for Christmas jammies it would be complete if they have footsies and no footies. Could you see Grandpa in that? A thousand ways to love a cat. All right, so here we are. I think I'm going to end it here today, guys. Still on the Saco River. I want to show you guys. My guys over here is telling me about the Black Bridge right here, guys. Um, yeah, they said that numerous, numerous people have died on this bridge, right? He says right over here by this span right here, one of his friends fell off um, to his death. And... Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, how many people you said you've known that have... I, I know of three. Three of them. I, you know, I, I don't know however many others off of this section right here, but I know at least three off this bridge alone. This bridge right here. Let's get a better look at this thing. Let's come right here, you know. And sometimes some of the some of the most haunted places, you know, are the, the least expected. Like my man Brian said, not many people have uh, 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 investigated this site, right? I don't know about Now, can we walk out on the truss or... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. You guys, well, well I'm not gonna even ask if you guys wanna wanna see it. It like, cause we're gonna go see it anyway. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna leave it right here. A beautiful but deadly Saco River, man. Uh, hopefully, y'all enjoyed all this, and uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow for Turkey Day. I've got something I'm gonna make up, a recipe that my aunt made uh, all the time. I th uh, it was my favorite dish um, on Thanksgiving, and I'll show you guys tomorrow. So, thank you for watching. I'll check you later. Peace. Check us out at Facebook, Travels Together, all one word with the Z. See you there.